So uh, coming to you know your professional career uh, that you started with Seagate as a firmware engineer. Uh, please tell us what what firmware is and uh, right. how does it you know help hard disk perform? How does it? Yeah, yeah. So actually, um, um, yeah. So firmware is basically you know programming a chip on on top of a device which can actually run um, all of the Sort of the mechanical components of it, right? So your Tesla car has, you know, a chip with firmware running on it. So it's super low-level programming. Um, and the the big difference between firmware and say like web programming is like firmware has to be like extremely optimized for um, memory space and performance because you only have. I mean, nowadays Raspberry Pis have a lot more, but in that time, you know, there was not as much memory, and and then performance has to be extremely hard. So imagine like if if writing to your disk. Uh, is not in nanoseconds. So for by the time it goes through all of the things and comes on your screen, it's probably going to take a minute, right? So the disk has to be extremely optimized. Um, having said that, I I was fascinated with hard drives when I joined. I mean, there were um, electrical engineers, there were aerospace engineers, there were mechanical engineers, you know, uh, there were so, I think that one company had six or seven types of engineers that they employed. Uh, because there was the actual actuation of the head, um, there was the actual chemical substrate that goes on the disk itself. Um, there was the actual magnetization of it that was going on. Um, then the actually the disk when it flies, that's actually almost like an airplane flying, right? So you have to get the right air pressure and stuff going under. So that's why they're aeronautical engineers. They're mechanical engineers, you know, who looked at um, sort of the breakage point and things like that. Uh, and then there were like firmware, which is software engineers that were actuating this whole thing. Um, so I'd done an internship with Seagate and then I got my full-time offer with them. Um, and the part that I was working on, um, my first sort of big project was on reliability. So basically when you, when the head writes, so it is magnetization. So it would magnetize the other bits also and not just the bit that it was trying to like magnetize. So over a period of time, what would happen is the, the other bits would start to erode. And as we started compressing the number of bits that go on each disk, that erosion went up because now your you know, magnetization was happening across the board. So we had to sort of come up with thresholds and stuff to figure out how to like keep those bits in place and not make, make sure we don't lose any of that. Uh, yeah, so that I worked on that. I actually interestingly got two patents on it. And I, that was the first time I realized you don't have to do much to get patents. Sometimes again, for people who do a lot, nothing against them, but like corporate pa patents, sometimes it's like even the minute, minute street is a pattern. Um, but even, yeah, even that process was very interesting. Very interesting. And then totally agree with you on the patents. 